Hi, I'm OKJ, and in 14 months, I'll be taking my Chinese O-level exams for the very first time. Most recently, I took a test to see how many of the 500 most common Chinese characters do I actually recognize. And it seems I can't recognize 199 of them. So today, in the heartland known as Topayo, with my trusty camera and a list of words that I didn't recognize, I'm going to go around and find out how many of these words can I actually take pictures of and hopefully with that, that will reinforce my understanding of them rather than just memorizing them or as some of you like to call it, Sipei. How many of these would I actually know? <laughs> We're gonna find out. So now, let's go. So now one of the things that I've done uh, in order to help me with this is that I have an app over here called uh, Pelco. So Pelco is somewhat of a Chinese dictionary and the list of words that I didn't recognize, I would search for these so that I can start to associate them with the area around me. Let's see whether I can find one that maybe is a bit more obvious. Wait. Bad directions. Other side is better. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found something. Um, Topayo being quite an old estate, there's history around. Uh, so there's this heritage trail. So, Li Shi. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, one down. There's also Jian. Singapore is very good at construction, so... But why is it that there's no constructions here today? The Topayo Mall is there, so I think we can find a lot more stuff over there. Yes, I got my construction ready. Mu Li, grain of wood. Grain of wood. Right, I'll take it. Because this is just word association for me. Eh? Tuang. Clothes. Oh, okay, so the interesting thing for this is like all of them are part of the 500 most common word. Hmm. There's Tui over here, you know, like Pai Tui. But it's such a quiet neighborhood that nobody is queuing up. So I can't take that. Hmm. Okay, man, man, lie, man, man, lie. Okay, maybe let me try and like, let me try and like find out, find out more first. When I look at some of these words, I was like, I don't even know how to pronounce them. Uh, like I put a high ping over there just to, just to help me, help help me a bit. The problem is that words can have different meaning depending on the context, but it's not like this is the first time that I've come across this word. So if I need to find out more about it, then I'll use the app. Okay. okay. We've come to a neighborhood, so maybe we have a better chance here. Oh, there's a uh, thing which is tight. It's another one down. Zuan turning. Yeah, a lot of them. Easy. Okay. Hmm. Ay yo. You see, you get nan zao. Hello. Can I ask you, do you know where you buy watches? Show, show. Yeah. Ah, another block. Ah. Okay. Thank you. There's only a few dozen words on this paper. So I think based on today's experience, I'm just going to get out of my comfort zone and go around Singapore a little bit more, trying to match the words I do not know with life in general. And I think that will just, at the very least, allow me to appreciate what these words are. Okay. The hope is that, you see, the more things I see in real life, like I. Now that I know if I see something break, I can like tuan, 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 then hopefully the character will come out naturally. Okay. Let's go there. I'm gonna continue some of these things on my own. And then after that, the next chapter, uh, we'll try and see how I can improve my 500 words familiarization a little bit more. Because I want to set myself up for a challenge where I really hope that I can succeed. And until then, uh, I'll see you later.